Well, I think it's a, kind of an extension of what we do with our Cafe X artist series, which is a more experimental avant-garde series of uh, and having filmmakers come in and talk about their work in uh, in that context. The Enlightened Screen is more of a kind of an in-depth uh, look at feature filmmakers in Canada that uh, make, largely speaking, uh, independent live-action uh, features and we've been working for a while. And the, the, the title of it, as I suppose, is kind of a play on words, the, the notion of the cinema being a screen that has light on it, so it's an enlightened screen, but also this idea that the, the Canadian Film Institute is a, an educational institution and part of our mandate is to, uh, you know, have value added, not simply show the films, but provide context and wherever we can, um, actual creators come in and talk about what they do. And specific in this series, it'll be Canadian filmmakers. So we're hoping that, uh, um, that this first um, edition with Gary Burns will be uh, popular because his, his films are very smart, uh, very accessible, and he's a completely independent uh, writer-director. I have gripes, you know, I, I get upset and, and uh my wife and I actually had to stop griping so much in our car because when our child was, our boy now is nine, but Henry, when he was like, you know, three, he'd be in the back of the car going, yeah, what are they doing over there? What, what's with that? What are they tearing down that building? Like, you know, he was like, starting to talk like a bunch of old uh, curmudgeons. So, uh, you know, but I think it's just a, it's just inspiration. It's a way of, you know, it's a way in. You know, if you're, I mean, that's what motivates me, I guess, because I don't, I think, you know, if you're making narrative film and you want to tell stories about, whatever it, it'll come from different areas and for you know for everybody's different but for me I think I've just generally you know gravitated towards you know there's topics of interest and I you know you just go towards them well Gary Burns is uh, he uh, he's interesting because he came he didn't come through the uh, the traditional kind of film school he was uh, he came to filmmaking in his 30s you know, really, I was looking for a job that I would enjoy. <laughs> so, I, I, you know, I, I'd had a bunch of different um, occupations, but mostly construction and stuff like that. And I think I was just at the point where I was in my mid-20s, and I tried a few things, and, you know, I was just looking for a fun job. And film seemed like something to try, you know. And, and uh, you know, I ended up going to Concordia, and I went to film school and did all that stuff. But, I, you know, I, I, I really hadn't, you know, I hadn't dabbled in but also, you know, I, I'm, I'm older, so when I went to film school, you didn't have to show anything. I showed some drawings, <laughs> you know, like you didn't have to make anything because was, it wasn't really something that was expected, I guess. So you could get into film school with some drawings, you know, in, in two years. I had one year of drama and one year of fine arts at UFC, and uh, that was it, you know, and I think I got in based on my interview. Or will, I was willing to fly to Montreal for an interview. That's my opinion. And so, you know, it was more, I don't know, I was just looking for something to do. I was kicking around. He really is uh, an interesting and engaging director. He makes feature films, uh, feature fiction, I should say. But he also has recently gone into uh, kind of feature-length documentary essay films. They're not even, you can't really describe them as conventional documentaries. Uh, Radiant City, for example, about suburbia. Um, and uh, The Future Is Now, which is his most recent documentary, which is kind of a meditation on you know, what life means in the 21st century. So very kind of a searching uh, filmmaker, really smart, very funny. Um, and uh, so, I, you know, Ottawa audiences haven't had a chance to meet him. I guess the thing about, you know, when I started out, I, you know, I had a lot of luck on my side. I think when I first, my first two, three films, you know, I had a lot of momentum. And it was also at a certain period in time when, you know, it, it seemed easier then than it is now. If you have a job that's kind of fun, you're gonna it's gonna attract a lot of it's gonna attract a crowd.